Zess Raymond and Damien Delaney recently visited the Westminster Academy to support a Show Racism the Red Card event, which was organised by QPR's Football in the Community scheme. The afternoon involved the Ars players speaking to youngsters from the academy and fielding questions about racism in football and society as a whole. Also on the panel were Leroy Rossini, who played for the Ars in the 80s, and Dave Bassett. 24-year-old Raymond is one of only four Asian players involved in professional football in this country and he told QPR World that the anti-racism message is of great importance to him. Yeah, it's important to me but I think it's important to get the message across to everyone, you know, all fans, whatever race or background they're from because it's um, you know, one of the things you want to eradicate from the game and hopefully you know, get rid of it completely by educating youngsters and school kids and football fans in general. So hopefully like the workshop we've been at today will you know, go a little way in doing that. Show racism the red card. How beneficial is it to have high profile footballers such as Rio Ferdinand, Thierry Henry involved in these sorts of projects? Personally I think it's massive because you know kids, age whatever age group they are, look up to them. I look up to people like that still, do you know what I mean? So when you when you turn on the TV and they're spreading that message you want to be a part of that because you might be looking up to them as a hero or an idol of yours and if they're spreading that message then you think it's a positive thing because they do a positive thing in the community you know which is to play football is a privilege and for them to be spreading the message you want to be a part of that you know and from your perspective you were sat alongside Leroy Rossini this afternoon and you're at where he was 20 years ago yeah I think you know so someone told me history repeats itself and you sometimes have to look back before you can go forward so the thing the, the black players went through is it, a similar situation to where I find myself now where there's only three or four Asian professionals that's why it's important you know for us to stay in the game and for Rome to be seen as role models for the future Asian generation and all in football in, in in general not just the Asian part of it show racism the red card and it's quite interesting when you were fielding questions that one of the youngsters this afternoon asked why are there so few Asians in football? So it's something that they've noticed. It's an ongoing issue, you know. It's been going on for a couple of decades now. And um, to be fair, there's more numbers now, which is four, out of 92 league clubs, which is still very low, to be perfectly honest. Show racism the red card. I think um, over time, if you know more people get involved in the FA and the PFA that I know are doing positive things, like show racism the red card, kick racism out of football, to, to raise awareness mostly, that's what it is and to get people to, to play football no matter what race you are. But I think in, in, in the next 10 or 15 years, hopefully the more Asian numbers will come through. And finally, football plays a massive role, doesn't it, in, in getting this message across? Yeah, football, I think it's the perfect vehicle. It's powerful all over the world. It's used as, you know, to spread all sorts of messages, not just about racism. It's the ideal um, vehicle to use, as I say, to get that message across. And I'm just grateful and appreciate being a part of it to hopefully educate the next generation of kids, you know.